Hey guys, and welcome back to Fisher King Craft. Last time I saw you guys, I was still living in a tiny little hole in the ground, and I had just finished this barn right here. But it's been about a week for me, and so I've been able to do a couple other builds in that time. Like this amazing little thing right here. Oh my god, isn't that great? It's so great. It has a little spot for my donkey. No, I'm just messing with you. That's just for some storage, but I did build this, and you know, I like the roof, I like the patterns that I put along the side of the roof, and I kind of like this glass that I put into it. See, there you can see the cactus. You can see the pattern going up along the side of the roof that goes from the beams all the way up, and I do like that. I think my one mistake was I made this roof just a little too steep and it was a lot of work so I didn't want to change it but it's okay it gave us a lot of space to work with and we did a lot of work on the interior before I show you that let me just show you this look at this floor well, that's a nice floor that's a lovely floor okay there is one thing I want to show you on this building that I really like. I made these pendants. They're very simple. I've been using a lot of these lights kind of around the place, or at least variations of this light. But it's just a hidden redstone block underneath some trapdoors. I'll show you in a second what I mean. So let's go inside. There are so many iron golems spawning in here. I've checked the light levels and there is it's too bright for any mobs to spawn anywhere. Oh, look at these shelving units we put in. Isn't that nice? We have all the resources that we can trade for, that I built this building to trade for. It's primary for all our diamond gear. We have sword guys, armor guys, tool guys, and then We'll just build up stockpiles and put it up there. It can use a little more interior work. I want to continue this bookshelf kind of design along to this other wall, but I need some more bookshelves. But this light, like I was talking about, underneath there, you just have a redstone block, and it makes just a nice little easy to hide in the wall kind of a light. If you have dead space, you just slap one up. This guy is stuck. But I really like this building. I, I really like the shelving. I think the shelving is my favorite part, honestly. Like, whole building aside. The hanging fixtures are pretty nice. There's the flower. But these shelves are just... It's cool. I like how I put this up here. Okay, so that's enough of this building. I guess I'd give you the full floor around it. I found that these, or I found these exterior walls to be a little bare, so I put some lights on them. And these two buildings are the last two things standing from the original town. I had just moved over a library and a cleric that I had inside of them. This guy's been trapped here forever. I don't know what his deal is. I made him a path out. Oh, I was showing you the building. So this is the front side. I'm not the biggest fan of this window design, but I honestly don't know what to do. I would like to change it to something. But after some times pass, I think. I'm gonna just let it sit there. And then if I think of something really good, then I'll change it. So we built that. We built our little storage shed just to house all our rocks and miscellaneous stuff. And then we built this little church. It's not bad. It's just a classic little design. It's got a steeple up top. A little bit of detailing done into it. And inside of here... Door always shuts my face. We have a bunch of people stuck up on top of a roof. 
So this is where I gave my librarian, uh, my current librarian, I'm going to build a whole facility for all the books I want. But this was the first librarian I had, and he sells me mending. And then all my clerics. So that I'm able to come here with my emeralds and just get over a stack of redstone every time I visit. See? Single visit, we got 72 redstone. And as you can see, I just got started. I literally just finished this earlier today. You can't get up into this steeple, which is kind of a bummer. But the outside looks nice. The inside's just kind of there. So last time I saw you guys, I promised you a tour of the server. And so I think we're going to run real quick and we'll run through the nether and go to my closest server mates locations. He has two locations, actually. Um, I suppose we could show off his newest build that he's working on. Ooh, it's going to be nighttime soon. The nighttime is a dangerous time. So we have a simple nether road setup. And I will probably do a little edit right now. Okay guys, so I ran a little bit down. I just didn't want you guys to have to watch me run the nether. But you know, we got these tunnels going on that um, I haven't done any of this. This is all from my server mate, uh, Sinaster. He's the closest guy to me and he's the one that I see the most often because other people are in different parts of the world, and they're on a different time than I am. So this was, he was the first one on the server, and this was Spawn Town, as I always called it. He's got a little base set up here. No real buildings, just infrastructure, really. But this is his project. He's building a communal massive storage device Wow, I haven't been here in a little while I've seen it like I've seen this part I didn't know he already had stuff in Ooh, we got sea lanterns? Ooh, we have one Diamond no diamonds, emeralds, some emeralds. Lapis ore and lapis block, gold ore and gold ingots. Wow, it's got a lot going on over here. These look like mob drops. Some bows and leaves. This is going to be a lot of work, man. I like these light pictures he put in. Honestly, aesthetically, this book looks pretty nice. Explorer is pretty nice. I would have changed it up a bit. Wouldn't have gone so much with the pattern, but the the amount of work you put into it makes like it shows, you know. It makes it look a lot nicer than just a lot of my floors right now are real basic. And so you put time into it, man. You put time into this build, and it looks nice. Even though it's really just a functional build. We don't want to die. Okay guys, so I just ran back through the nether, past my portal, and to Sinaster's other portal, which is, woo, this is his infrastructure area. He's got his iron farm, he's got a melon and pumpkin farm, he's got a sheep farm, or wool farm you should say, he's got his AFK zone, he has his poppy destroyer. Which is out, but I suppose I can destroy anything. It's probably my favorite thing here. Just shoots it at a cactus. 
And then he's just got some stuff going on back behind this way. There is a villager breeder off in the distance over there. Just got farms going on. You know, just a lot of stuff. He doesn't have a lot of buildings done. Just that one big build I just showed you. But he's created all this infrastructure that makes it easier for me to just build to my heart's content. And so between the two of us, we have melons and iron. We have all the villagers giving us diamond tools and redstone and lapis. And we can get our golden carrot stockpile. We have just everything we could want, really. I mean, we're pretty set up over here. So I hope more people join our server. And I hope that this whole area gets more populated. And we have other people to build with and hang out with. I hope you guys hit that subscribe button and just keep coming back because I'm going to keep making videos and we're going to keep building and I hope you have a great day. See you later.